Hi, my name is Karma Sutra. I am 25 years old and I am from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I got my drag name by doing a mix-up on the phone when I was at Barnes & Noble. I was looking at the Kama Sutra books, but when I was on the phone, instead of saying Kama Sutra, I said Karma Sutra, and the name just stuck around, so I kept it. So my drag style is eclectic. I take inspiration from a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I don't really like to be kind of like in a box of what drag should be, so I'm always trying new things and coming up with new bold and fresh ideas. I like to think that my drag style is kind of like a chameleon. It's always changing and it's always fresh. Ooh, my first time in drag. Well, that was about six years ago, way, way before I even thought about doing this in a serious manner. I was dating a guy who ran a gay straight alliance in his college and he was running a drag amateur night. I was being helpful, just helping with curtains and helping people get set up. Then he got the news that one of his performance, uh, one of his performers had dropped out. So he looked at me and said, babe, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. I was like, I don't know the first thing about doing drags, so I don't think I could do it. So he picked up a Party City wig, some chapstick, some mascara, and pretty much just told me, just go on stage, tell the DJ to put a song on and just lip sync to it. I picked Turn Me On by Nicki Minaj, and I went up there, and I swear, honey, I was the only diva. I walked out with the first prize that night, and it just felt like destiny. So from that point forward, I was at kind of like this itch of doing drag, and eventually I made it happen, and the rest is history. My favorite movie is a toss-up between Nightmare Before Christmas, or really anything that Tim Burton makes. Oh, and uh, Burlesque by Christina Aguilera and Cher. Not because of the acting, but because the soundtrack was fucking killer. Like, it was amazing. Three of my biggest drag inspirations are Manila Luzon, because she shows people that they can be poised, put together, but still fashion forward. Anybody that went to Limelight, all the club kids of New York City, the freedom of expression, and just the attitude of being who you want to be, when you want to be, because you feel like being it. It's just inspirational for me. And last but not least, I take a lot of inspiration from Lee Bowery. His mind was completely revolutionary. If I had one wish, I wish I could live in his mind for a day and just see the world in his eyes because I feel like I would have a different perspective on everything. I auditioned for Drag Showdown because Drag Showdown has a platform for small artists like me to be able to showcase themselves outside of their hometown. With YouTube being so big these days, you can showcase this competition in other states, perhaps other countries. So me being part of this amazing project allows me to show the world my love for this art form and just what makes Karma Sutra magic. My dream lip sync song would probably be anything by Ariana Grande. Uh, give me God is a Woman, give me uh, No Tears Left to Cry, give me Dangerous Woman, give me anything you want by Ariana Grande. Oh, 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 I have a better one. The children will be shook if there was a lip sync song in Spanish. There, I said it. And I'm not just saying that because I would have the advantage because I speak Spanish, but that would leave the children shook. I want to be remembered in Drag Showdown for someone that wasn't afraid of meeting the challenges head on and stepping outside of their box. I want to be remembered in Drag Showdown for not being a boring bitch and for serving something different each and every time on the runway. I want to be remembered on Drag Showdown for being iconic.